Welcome back, Issues. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. So, Birds of Prey is a movie that's coming out tomorrow. Oh. I never thought I'd be able to say that out loud, but I live in the topsy turvy <laughs> universe. Sal, this is 2020. All your dreams are coming true. Yeah, lucky me. Is it a Birds of Prey, Harley Quinn, and oh, the Birds yes. of Prey or I'm something? I'm sorry, forgive me. It's the Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn. Ugh. Love it. That is not a lead balloon of the hull. There's this book called Birds of Prey that came out, and it's clearly the namesack for the movie, and it has absolutely nothing to do with the movie. No. Like, Harley Quinn is in Birds of Prey. like 20 years ago, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, Birds of Prey was originally created by Chuck Dixon in like 99. And the idea was- Really, that late? Yeah, 20 years yeah. ago, sweet. Yeah, exactly. My first exposure was the TV show. Yes. Which I feel like wasn't that long after 1999. No, it was not. It was like early 2000s? Oh. Batman is killed. Yes. As is Catwoman, but they had a daughter, and that daughter is Huntress. And that's actually from like classic comics in like their alternate future. Mm. And so Huntress is actually Helena Wayne, and she's the daughter of Catwoman and Batman. Hmm. In the post-crisis continuity, they were like, I don't want to do that. Right. So instead, it was Helena Bertinelli, who was a mob heiress. Her parents were mafiosos, and instead of becoming a mobster herself, she becomes an avenger of justice. Her, her that's, past that's is... That's a very that's weird and bizarre. convoluted history. Uh, I mean, I, it combines I, the Waynes, yeah. like dying. Oh, because she was also eight years old. Oh. <laughs> so it's like a weird... Oh, it's the Wayne curse! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a weird cracked mirror version of Bruce Wayne. Where okay. It's like, what if the Waynes were mobbed up? And also, like, Thomas Wayne wasn't really Bruce Wayne's father. Like, her father was actually a rivaled mob Oh my Don. god, yeah, that is convoluted. Yeah, no, it's a <laughs> Romeo and Juliet meets Batman story. Right. But also, it's stupid as hell. Well, and to answer the question, uh, the same thing that happened with Batman. Of course. Yeah, she dons a ridiculous costume at night and punches people you know, who can't afford to, like, get themselves out of a socioeconomic problem. But what are you talking about? I just love living in this city. She, I mean, they do love Gotham, and God only knows why at this point. Right. But Have you been to the bodega around the corner? They got everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, until Two-Face blew it up. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, but it's well, my city. Well, I'll still city. never leave. <laughs> Spoken like a true Gothamite. <laughs> Both of you. You belong there. But anyway, uh, so Huntress was on that show. Yeah. And I think Oracle was too. Oracle, like, they yep. did the origin, like Joker shot Barbara Gordon, yeah. who was she's Batgirl. She's in a wheelchair. Yeah, she's in a wheelchair. I never saw a second of it's, this show. It is horrible. <laughs> okay, cool. It is undisputedly terrible. Yeah. And you can watch well, every episode on DC Universe. There is one interesting thing they did with that show, and it was they had Mark Hamill voice over the actor who played the Joker. Oh, oh that's funny. That's cool. Yeah. They kept that him, sucks for that guy, though. They kept wow. him out of focus. <laughs> Yeah, that actor was barely in the show anyway. I'm like, it's 99, 2000. Just get Mark Hamill. If you're going to make it blurry anyway, yeah. just put him in the makeup. Who cares? Yeah. Doesn't well. matter. Doesn't matter. But anyway, so that was that show, which you saw. Mm -hmm. I, I literally saw that scene and was like, this sucks. I'm willing to bet that it's cheaper to get someone else oh, and yeah. just the voice cast oh, Mark yeah, Hamill. Oh, yeah, guaranteed. Like, you mean I have to show up on set? Yeah. yeah. That's going to be quadruple the price. Yep. That's true. Yeah, you got to probably pay SAG rates as opposed to like voice actor rates. Mm -hmm. That's probably exactly what happened. Birds of Prey was a comic book which depicted Barbara Gordon Oracle, who, you know, of course, Barbara Gordon was Batgirl, and then stopped being Batgirl, and then Joker shot her. And I love it because like Batman blames himself because he's like, she was, she was Batgirl. Joker had no idea that she was Batgirl. It <laughs> it's was completely a, unrelated. It had everything to do with him wanting to hurt Jim Gordon. Yeah. So it's like, if you want to blame anybody, blame James. And also, yeah. the horrible randomness of the universe, right. Batman. Like, he has a real problem with Huntress, and part of it is because she reminds him of Barbara Gordon. And I'm like, mm. she never got hurt in the field, you <laughs> jackass! She took that costume off, she went home, he broke into her home, and he shot her to make her dad mad! Here's the problem. A bunch of writers uh, either didn't remember <laughs> that Joker didn't know yeah. that she was Batgirl, or didn't care because uh, it was convenient for Batman to be torn up about what happened to her. Yeah, that's, that's like the perfect mixture of every editorial staff. Mm. A mixture of don't remember and don't give a shit. Yep. If it was done... Boom! I can read a comic. <laughs> yeah, because guaranteed someone out... remembered 
and someone had to say, yeah, but fuck Oh, it. shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's every conversation in every editorial pit. You can't do that. It doesn't make any sense. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, so, but you're forgetting one thing. It's lunchtime. <laughs> Ooh, good point. So, uh, Birds of Prey was a book that was originated by Chuck Dixon. It's run by Oracle. Barbara Gordon becomes a master computer hacker, and she is discovered in a Suicide Squad book, of all things. And with computers becoming like a thing in the 90s, like it was, it was like perfect. It was a, like, it was oh, we got storm. a paralyzed like, person. They can like extend themselves through the yes. net. Yes, that's right. And, and influence things without having to walk. It's perfect. That's right, yeah. yeah. Writer Gail Simone took over and kind of like really turned on its ear. Like mm. she's the one who really like put the book on the map. Okay. People love Birds of Prey and they love Chuck Dixon's run, but like Gail Simone's the one that everybody remembers for writing Birds of Prey, for the most part. And this is actually the beginning of her run. It's Of Like Minds, which is written by Gail Simone with art by Ed Bennis. And when did this one debut? This one came out in 2003. Okay. okay. So, so not that long after it was created. No, it's true. Yeah, no, uh, yeah. Uh, Birds of Prey had always been continuing. This was not like a number one. It was just the first time that Gail Simone t took over the book. So there is some continuity, but we're not going to pay attention to any of it. Uh, the fact that we need to know that there are two members of the Birds of Prey. It's Oracle and Black Canary, Dinah Lance. And of course, we've seen Dinah Lance on this show before because she appeared in Green Arrow, The Longbow Hunters. Yes. Right. In which she was uh, kidnapped, tortured, and almost murdered by a bad guy. And uh, that is, the only reason why I bring it up is because it informs this run because Gail Simone is a like noted feminist author who also uses that story to inform Black Canary's character in this. Okay. Because she's like, Black Canary had been a crime fighter. In fact, her story is even more convoluted than anything we could possibly do on this couch. Like, there was a black canary on the JSA in the 40s, and then she had a daughter, and then that daughter went into suspended animation because she was gonna die. So then they put the mother into the daughter's body because she was never gonna wake up again. Oh my God. So then God. that's why she's young. But then in post-crisis, they were like, that's weird. That's really that's, weird. That's real messed Let's up. Let's not do that. So, uh, but but she was, of course, the impetus behind Silk Spectre. Ah, uh, I was going to say, that sounds a lot like Silk Spectre. Yeah, like, both, there's the mom and the mm -hmm. daughter. And, yeah, there's, yeah. A, there's a legacy. Also, they both were fishnets. Ah. And it's, like, taken from JSA. Yep. It was like, that sounds like. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah very right. much. Uh, in this one, Canary joins uh, the Birds of Prey because Oracle invites her. And they mm -hmm. have, like, a tumultuous relationship because, like, you know, Dinah's with Ollie, yeah. and they're like, they're not exactly known for following the rules or mm. being big on protocol. Right. And Barbara's the daughter of a police commissioner. Right. And she's also kind of like... Ba -da 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 -da. Oh, these are a wacky <laughs> pairing. That's, yes. <laughs> that's true. And oh, that's, great. But th by the time Gail Simone takes over, like, we're kind of done with that. Right, okay. Which is why we got to throw a monkey wrench into this thing in the form of Huntress. Okay. Who, of course, as we know, Batman has said expressly to the Bat family, do not address her. No. <laughs> she is persona She's, non grata. Exactly. <laughs> But uh, Barbara doesn't care, so, but Barbara doesn't like her. Yeah, but she's not a bat anymore. She's Oracle. That's right. Which is why it's really complicated to be like, look at the birds of prey. We got a huntress and an oracle and a canary. No, bird of prey <laughs> and her friends. I'm sorry, uh, that's a bird who is prey. Yeah, that's yeah, also not a bird of prey. There no. are no birds of prey <laughs> on the, the birds, birds of, of prey. prey. Yeah. No. Later on, Hawk and Dove will join the Birds of Prey. Then you have a bird of prey. And it's a dude, so it's completely in the opposite of what the whole like, message of this book is. That should be bird and prey. That would be, a, we're losing the message. <laughs> but anyway, the, the story of Like Minds is basically just like, kind of like resetting the status quo. We're just setting mm. things up. Hey, here's the Birds of Prey in action. Right, and relaunching the Birds of Prey. More or less, yeah. yes. And, and from the cover, clearly, like, also introducing Huntress to the mm -hmm. team. Uh, Barbara's against it, Canary's for it, because Huntress is a loose cannon who doesn't mm. follow the rules. <laughs> and Canary likes that. Right. There's this douchey guy in a very expensive car. He's got auto trouble. He's trying to call AAA. And this sexy, beshrouded, befishnetted lady offers to give him a ride. He immediately accepts. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah. Yeah. And so he gets in. And he's just talking to her, and she's shrouded. So 
She can't drive, but she is driving. <laughs> yeah. And you uh, want your peripheral vision just to be entirely taken <laughs> yeah. away yes. when you drive. But Gail Simone is no hack. So there is actually a, an explanation. Barbara's driving the car, and this oh. is actually Black Canary. So Canary is talking to uh, this guy, Fisher, and she's like, saying things about him that only he would know and he's like wait a minute this went from like hey i might be getting like a happy ending in this car to like hey i might actually not make it out of this car <laughs> what no she picked him up yeah he that, gives her the happy ending that's true oh, yeah, that, yeah that's the unwritten book of the road yeah <laughs> ass grass or gas damn right don't do that by no the way. don't just call uber <laughs> so basically she's like trying to she's trying to intimidate him into not fleeing the country with his employees benefits and instead, give himself up and go to jail. Oh, yeah. I'm which sure he's that's not interested work. in. Yeah. And he's like, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but then I would lose all my money. Yeah. yeah. So uh, all my money. In instead, she's like, well, if you're not going to do that, then I'm just going to pout. And she folds her arms. And he's like, oh, well, put your hands on the, on the wheel. What are you doing? And she's like, I don't know. Feels like you're not really respecting me. The car's going to run out of the... <laughs> and, uh, it's going to run off the road. And he reaches into his pocket to get out his gun. And she like kicks him in the chest with yeah. her like crazy awesome high-heeled leg uh-huh. and like holds him there and he's like no oh, like how are you not driving <laughs> so they stop the it's car cruise control motherfucker yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> that's not how cruise control works <laughs> but uh they stop they pull over she like threatens him and basically he reveals that he was strong-armed into doing it mm. and that there's someone else at work here and that's when you find out that Oracle has been manipulating everything with oh. Dinah. And in fact, Dinah doesn't have pupilless eyes. Those are right. special contact lenses. Um, but uh, but Oracle is helping with like driving the car and, and, and trying to assess like what's going on here. Cause, like, is she like feeding her information through a headset? Yeah. Oh, okay. And Canary basically says, you know, don't leave town and you know right. do something righteous with your life before you go away forever. Dinah and Oracle like giggle about how being Batman-y is silly uh-huh. and how like intimidating people is stupid and like it was kind of fun to do but like that's not my style mm-hmm. you know but, there, like, we tried it. but we played it your way yeah. Barbara uh-huh. you know and so then they she gets back in the car and she drives away and then she's got to clean the plates and the plates in the, behind her just go like and become new plates mm-hmm. and I'm assuming she's going to do that like a few times right because it's how many like are a literal there? Rolodex of <laughs> license plates what are you talking about? There's probably like 20 in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like the transporter. Yeah. He has a car that does that. Dinah goes to pick up dinner and scares the bejesus out of the guy because she forgot to take the contact lenses out. <laughs> uh-huh. And she brings it upstairs to uh, Oracle's secret location, which is in like a watchtower. Uh, they have a really cool base, which is actually preserved in that show. Yes, it is. Yeah, you can see, like, the gears of yeah, the Watchtower. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's a cool hideout. Yeah, it is cool. And we set up, like, this is the this is their headquarters. Oracle is the brains. Dinah's the muscle. And, you know, they both, but like... But we're missing, like, one key element. No, they yeah. don't. They don't feel like that at all. And it's like, but they're on the cover. Well, right. Is... Anyway, so they, they talk about how they're going to figure out who is strong-arming Fisher, mm-hmm. because there's, there's more to the story than meets the eye. Uh, but oh my god, you gotta try this shrimp. It's it's to die for. And they're like, they're just eating and laughing and having mm-hmm. a good time. They're friends. They're friends. Look they're at this. Laughing. Ah, we get it. We. <laughs> <laughs> so Oracle is remote desktoping on Fisher's computer because Fisher likes to keep a journal of his activities because mm-hmm. he's an idiot. <laughs> and uh, he's he seems to be... Yeah, everyone who writes a journal is a friggin' moron. No, I mean because he's doing... Dear like, like, Oh, he's putting... Wanna, in, yeah. dear, dear diary, today I embezzled so <laughs> many funds. Like, what are you doing? So uh, he's writing his suicide note, and oh, they're like, crap. oh, shit, we fucked up. Yikes. I didn't know he was going to, like, kill himself. Right. So then Dinah's like, nice, Barbara, nice. Jumps on the bike, oh, wait drives away. Yeah, well, no, she's like, we. if I didn't scare him so bad, maybe he wouldn't want to kill himself. This is your fault. So Oracle is watching, like, the, the words type as he's getting more into his suicide. Right. She's like, oh, no, I hope Dinah can make it to his house in time. <laughs> and at some point or another, she just goes, don't do it. <laughs> she <laughs> writes in the document, which I can imagine is hilarious. Where he's, like, he's like, well, goodbye, cruel world. Don't do it. Well, I didn't write that. What the hell's going on here? Hello? It's your conscience. I'm in the computer. You have to free me. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss the monitor. I'll become a real woman. Um, it, oh, I've always wanted this to happen. In, in, in point of fact, Fisher has a wife and children. 
Okay. Which makes him more of a scumbag. Yeah. He's totally gonna bang Dinah in the car. <laughs> so he's, he's also, not writing this letter, right? Well, no. It's also he's also no. saying he's gonna kill them. Yeah. Too. What? His yeah. family? He's like, you're gonna join me in eternity. That's right. That's what really <laughs> upsets them. Yeah. So Dinah ends up like getting into his building and going there, and as Barbara's like telling him not to do it. They're revealing that actually Fisher isn't writing that letter at all. Uh -huh. And in fact, it is being written by a super genius and computer hacker named Savant. When she gets in the elevator, her like two-way communicator like turns off or gets blocked by something. Uh. So she can't be in touch with Oracle and Oracle can't track her. Mm -hmm. Savant is the guy who is strong-arming Fisher. Uh. And uh, Savant is a new character that is invented by Gail Simone who will carry on throughout her run on Birds of Prey. Uh, he is... He's a great opposite for Barbara Gordon, then. Yeah, because he's, he's beautiful. <laughs> mm -hmm. He is a hacker. He is a super genius. He is also, like, super capable and uh, wanted to become a crime fighter. Oh, wow. Fact. Super capable. Offensive. She is super capable. You're offensive. <laughs> <laughs> so Savant wants to know, because, like, Oracle is this thing that exists in the DC Universe now. Right. But nobody knows, except for, like, Batman, right, who, who Oracle is. That includes members of the superhero community. In fact, Oracle is like kind of like the, she doesn't just work for Batman, she works with like the Justice League and stuff. Mm. All right. After Tower of Babel, that all goes to shit. Because they're like, I'm not trusting a bad right. person. Right, But uh, But at this point, like they're having a, you know, she's really. She's important. She's important. And she's like ingrained in the DC universe. You could but, say she has her finger in a lot of pies. That's true, that's true, yeah. You could Mag say that. pies. Because <laughs> it's the birds of prey. Oh. <sighs> I was thinking more like pizza. Oh. oh. And he's also mentally unbalanced. He has a chemical imbalance in his brain oh. that causes him to perceive time differently than other people. Perceive it slower or faster? Both. Differently. Oh. Like, he doesn't know, like, when he is oh. half the time. okay. And so he needs help and guidance, and he gets that from his muscular <laughs> associate, Creote? Okay. I bet delivery orders really throw him off. Exactly. Like, I ordered that pizza yesterday. What are you talking about? It's just here. Ah! That's his life. Yeah. Uh, okay. But he, has, he, he is guided by this, like, muscular, badass associate named Creote, who is, like, a super dedicated manservant. He's, like, he is his partner in crime, super helpful, and also super in love with Savant. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. We kind of reveal that later. Right. But Savant is totally oblivious <laughs> to the fact that Creote is, like, Body, mind, and soul dedicated to him. <laughs> now that's funny. Yes. I am super intelligent. I am aware of all this other yeah, kind of I, stuff. I'm just really bad with time. I love you, <laughs> bastard. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. He knows everything and can see everything except for what's clearly right in front, in front of, of his him. face. Yeah. Yeah. So they they intercept Dinah. Dinah like, tries to fight them. Yeah. But yeah, on her own. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, well, but Dinah is not a stranger to that anyway, but she's also like a badass, and they they overwhelm her and beat her up. Well, yeah. you just said that, like, Savant is incredibly... That's a thing. Like, he's an it? excellent fighter. Yeah. And Creote's also a really good fighter. He's a bodyguard. Yeah. And huge. Yeah. Yeah. And and so Dinah gets her ass kicked, and they they don't crush her trachea, but, like, they, they hurt her in Ooh. the throat, so she Ooh. can't use her canary cry. Uh. And then they proceed to break her legs. Oh, ah! jeez. Now Dinah is a prisoner of Savant. And Savant is like, hey, Oracle, you're going to do everything I want if you ever want to see Dinah again. Oof. Okay. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. And Oracle's like, no. So the, 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 we find out that, like, Savant has a real problem with Batman. Mm hmm And he keeps, like, seeing Batman everywhere he goes. And Batman's like, you suck. <laughs> And he's like, well, like, but I don't. No, I don't. And he's like, this isn't happening right now, Batman. And Batman's like, fair enough. And he disappears. So, no, I mean, this isn't happening right now. I, I can't perceive time. That's what he's saying, yeah. Because apparently, Savant oh. did have an interaction with Batman, and it constantly. Right, he can't him. tell that it was a while ago. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's, he's living, he knows that it happened a while ago because Grant right. keeps reminding him. But he perceives but he's it as happening. living it all the time. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So you ran into Batman one time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the fact is, Savant wanted to be a crime fighter because he was super good at everything. That's it. Okay. Like he was born in the lap of luxury, had a lot of money and an influence. Right, so what do you do? You become a crime fighter. Right. Well, he's like, and Batman's I'm, like, you I, suck at this. Like he <laughs> he went into like a burning building and he, and he and he tried to fight the arsonist, and then he runs into Batman in the alley, and 
you know, Batman is like, you you suck and you're terrible. Get the hell out of here. He's like, well, I have to call out the arsonist. What the hell are you doing? He's like, saving everyone in the building from bo- from burning to death. <laughs> you don't want to be a superhero. Right. What are you talking about? I was in there for like three seconds. Yeah, like you want to punch people and have an excuse to do it. And that's right. not a reason to be a superhero. No! That's not a hero. Yeah, that's it. And so he, okay. he's like, Batman squash me back so now I have a chip on my shoulder forever mm-hmm. because, rather than learn from this experience right, right. Well, we'll do the opposite well and in, and in fact like I never learned from this experience because this experience keeps happening to me like all the time mm. and I guess I would kind of be frustrated if that were the case as well uh, they, they they tie Dinah to a bed they give her these big like leg casts uh-huh. and like keep, I think well it's good like, that they give her casts yeah, to break exactly. her legs but you know she's, well I want them to set properly right, right. I, I'm not a monster <laughs> I'm just holding this woman against her will and changing right. her to a bed and force feeding her. <laughs> you know, if I change her to a bed, why did I have to break your legs? Is oh. this around the Batman? No, this no, is it's way after she's... after the Batman. It's so that she can't thing. kick yeah. him in the face. Yes. Yeah. No, it's yeah, it's well after Nightfall, but it's also yeah, it's because she, part of her real power is her 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 strong legs and her right. awesome kicking ability. She kicks a lot. I mean, mostly it's the canary cry, which they took away immediately. Right. Uh, but yeah. So. Okay. All right. Anyway, they uh, so so then there's then the whole book is basically just like we have Dinah. Dinah is like, oh my god, I'm captured again, like in Longbow Hunters. Mm. I will not be tortured and hurt like I was last time. So I've got to figure out a way out of here. And Oracle's like, Dinah's there because of me. Mm. Like, yes, we wouldn't have fallen for the suicide ploy if I, if she didn't use my methods, and also like I sent her there, or mm-hmm. at the very least, she went there. Uh, and Savant has, you know, communication with Oracle, and he's like, listen, I want one thing. And she's like, it's the one thing I can't give him. And so, and they're kind of buried lead about what that is. Uh, Batman. Yeah, it's Batman's secret identity. Oh. So, Interesting. Why does he I don't care? Think it was the secret identity. Because I he just wants... wanted to, like, meet him and <laughs> like punch him, him in the face. Yeah. Like... <laughs> yeah. See, no. I told you I was better. <laughs> it's Batman's identity. Okay. okay. He's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna humiliate him the way he humiliated me oh. in private in an alley when I was doing something wrong. Right. So <laughs> she's like, I can't. I don't know if I can ever give that to him. So, and and I don't know if I'm willing to sacrifice Dinah's life to protect Batman. Oh. And it's actually like kind of don't. an interesting conundrum. Yeah, it is. And she doesn't talk to Batman about it. Because I was gonna she, say, well, does she call Batman? No. And it's because she's like, the last thing that Dinah's gonna want to see, if she is rescued is some Batman. Like, it's a man dressed like a bat going in there. Like, because men <laughs> attacked her. Oh. And, and Batman is, like, you know, up above us and stuff. And he's, like, responsible for this problem, too. Mm-hmm. So it's, like, it, it's all complicated. I gotta keep this on the DL. I gotta stretch this into four or five issues. <laughs> so... I get not wanting uh, to get him involved because then it's also, like, I fucked up and yeah. I need your help. And... I'm past you, Batman. Exactly. I'm yeah. Oracle now. That's right. I I'm don't need that. Just trying to prove said, that she can do She it. is also like the coordinator for the entire Bat family. Right. Uh, so what she does is she calls yeah, Huntress. They, they call her up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They call me. I don't call you. But she calls Huntress because okay. Huntress is an extended member of the Bat family outside. Right. right. Huntress won't just run and tell Batman. No, she will not. <laughs> so uh, she she calls Huntress. Huntress is in the middle of a caper at the time. Uh, she is. Rescuing a kidnapped child. Uh, the idea was that this kid is part of a messy divorce and the mother is insane and she kidnaps the kid. And uh, so Huntress goes in and she saves the kid and then Oracle calls the cops and the cops break in and like, you know, everything's good. Okay. That's it. It's just, and it's like a baby. It's like an infant. Right. Uh, so that's the story of Huntress's big caper in this book. Uh, but then she's like, okay, now you, what do you want me to do? Mm-hmm. And they're like, all right, well, I need you to, like, track down Dinah and rescue her. Because <laughs> okay. I can't go get her. <laughs> and Huntress is like, all right, I'm in. But Huntress, of course, is a renegade who plays by her own rules. Right. So, you know, <laughs> much like Gore, much like, oh, like Dinah. Boy. Exactly, so right. it's going to be tough, but, you know. So it's going to be the same thing you're used to with the Prince of Prey, but it's Huntress instead of Dinah. Yes. <laughs> okay. That's right. <laughs> um... Oh, sweet. Both uh, Huntress and uh, Black Canary ride motorcycles. Yeah. 
That's how you know what badasses they are. <laughs> right. That's how you get Ben involved in the book. <laughs> <laughs> so Dinah's trying to get out, and she's got this like running monologue throughout the whole story, and it's really cool where she's just like, I'm not gonna be a victim, I'm gonna try and figure it out. Okay, I gotta break my wrist to pull myself out, because that's what Houdini used to do. Eesh. Like, so she's coming up with these ideas, and uh, Creote is giving her food, and she's like, listen, Creote, you're, you're pretty cute. What do you say we loosen these straps and get get to work? And Creote doesn't even bat an eyelash, and that's how we find, and that's how she uh. finds she finds out he's gay <laughs> because he's not interested in her. Yes, and she is so hot, so hot, and like, but I'm Black Canary. I'm Black right. Canary. It's how not that he's disciplined. Me? Right. It's not that he's. <laughs> it's not that he's not a rapist. It's that <laughs> she's gay. <laughs> well, I guess like he doesn't even like show any like that's right. reaction. There's no reaction. He's like. Pfft. You're tied to a bed. We have you. I yeah. Why would I ever even risk letting you go? You being tied to the bed is part of the holding you plan. You know? No. It's, I know that you're gonna think of that and try. No, it's not gonna work. Right. But like, no, it's not that he's disciplined. It's that he's gay. Right. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, he would totally go for Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Otherwise, he would totally be <laughs> clobbered by her when he was trying to get with her. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't work. <laughs> So uh, Fisher's giving her food, and she's like, Fisher, help me out of here. He's like, I can't. Like, Savant took my family. Mm. Like, and, and he won't tell of me where course. they are, Right. so I gotta help him out. I'm so, I feel bad for you. Yeah. But this is my family I'm talking about. Yeah, plus, like, you were kind of mean to me earlier. Like, you know. <laughs> You're embezzling money, you're a bad guy. Uh, for him. Yeah, but, like, you also kicked me out of your car. <sighs> I had to walk home. I had to walk home. I had to walk back to my car. And culture play all over. So, work. so you know what? We're, we're, we're even. Yeah, I'll you see. Know, you kicked me out of your car and yelled at me. And I allowed I, you to get your legs broken and your trachea and crushed. Allowed? He didn't know that was happening. He was well, part of, He was cotton to and it. And he's not helping her now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because they have his family. Yeah. yeah. I didn't think he was part of the kidnapping part. Like, I didn't think that Savant was in his house. He was. On purpose. Like, we're just like, oh yeah, go ahead. Write a suicide note for me. No, he, he no, told Savant him. Savant wrote the note. Yeah, he called Savant. He's like, "Hey." Yeah, no, he called, or Savant called him. Right. It's really more. No, Savant. I think the whole thing is that Savant wanted to get access to Oracle in the oh, first place. Oh, he set it all up. And so he set it all up. Oh, okay. That's brilliant. Yeah. yeah. That's that's Savant. <laughs> a character he's that you will not see again, yeah. probably ever again. Yeah. I mean, he's he he carries over. Like he's a thing. So we get the flashback. So we get the I flashback to him like being the most generic. Yeah. DC character you've ever seen. <gasps> Now I know why Batman doesn't like him. He's wearing a Zorro mask. <laughs> yeah. Damn it! <laughs> Mom and Dad! <laughs> You're no hero! You're a monster! <laughs> That's the whole reason right there. Yeah. <laughs> Savant, like, makes Oracle jump through hoops. He, he asks her three questions in three different languages, and he's like, if you don't answer my questions in those languages, she dies. It's that kind of why? thing. Why? To, to prove that Oracle is super smart. The oh. thing is that I think Savant has a thing for Oracle. Oh. And be because once he reached, because no one's really like heard Oracle's voice, but Savannah, of course, like figures it out and calls her on her phone oh. and like makes her answer it because otherwise Dino will die. So like, when he had this like different languages, I thought he was emailing her. I'm just like, it's yeah. called Google Translate, right. man. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, they didn't have that in 1990, oh, no, 2003. 2003. Yeah, I'm sorry, back then it was Babblefish. <laughs> <laughs> she could just dogpile it. I don't understand why she didn't. But the fact is, he asks her on the phone, and yeah. he and she, of course, is smart, so she does answer. Yes, of right. course. Hang on. This. <laughs> Your diction is terrible. <laughs> the, the, the long and the short of it is, Black Canary ultimately does... It's great, because she's like, okay, I got it. So she cuts her hand with her nail so that she'll bleed, and then the blood will lubricate, loose, lubricate the cuff so she can... And that's when, like, they show up and they're like, okay, so let's talk. And she's like, oh, my God, she's got to, like, hold the blood in her hand. Mm. It's like a lot of really fun, tense sequences. Yeah, yeah. Ultimately, that does get past them and it doesn't work. So she breaks her wrist and she pulls it through and she does actually manage to free herself. But, of course... Damn it, Houdini. She has broken legs. So Right, so she can't... She can't, like, free herself. She can't um, escape. Yes. Yeah, okay. She can't, she can't escape right away. Savant is talking to Canary, and Fisher's there, and he's going on and on, because he's like a crazy person, <laughs> about his influence, because remember, he's like a master hacker too, mm -hmm. and like Savant has information on like all these different powerful, far-reaching people, and that's how he got Fisher, is he like found information that he needed, and 
took over right. Fisher's life, and he's he, you know Savant is a broker of information for bad guys, and so he has and he, and he mentions like the wine cellar being a really like sensitive location, and so Fisher realizes like that's where my family is. Fisher brings Dinah tea to help with her throat, and her monologue is like, oh, it's cold. Oh, why is that? Oh, so he for, he he feeds her tea, she drinks it. And then he leaves, and then the, the Creote and Savant leave, and then she reveals that Fisher stole the communicator, put it in the cup with like a little bit of water, mm -hmm. and put it in her mouth. Okay. So she activates it. Oh, that's excellent. If only it hadn't shorted out from the tree! <laughs> I guess he assumes that like if it's Oracle is far reaching, she could waterproof her tech. Yeah. yeah. But she does, and it, and then she activates it and she's able to talk to Oracle. And Oracle's like, oh my god, thank you. Transmitters received, Huntress, right here. You have to get to this house. And, uh, oh, by the way, it's green lights all the way. <laughs> <laughs> so it's traffic like boom. Huntress like ding, beelines ding, it there. Ding, ding. Nice. Crash. <laughs> yeah, we don't see the repercussions of that. It's just awesome. <laughs> Canary is emboldened to free herself, so she cracks her wrist, frees herself, and then hides and waits for- The cavalry. No, for Savant to come in so she can kick his ass. Oh. oh screw this guy. So. She gets the one up on him and she handcuffs him to the door. Okay. She's like, gotcha. And then she realizes she's like up like three flights of stairs. It's oh. like, crap. Oh, and it's like, well, this is going to hurt. Her legs are broken, <laughs> so she can't use her legs. So now she has to go through what Oracle has to go through. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. poetry. It rhymes, yeah. <laughs> kind of. And it's more like... Or like a mirror. I guess or... Dinah will have sympathy and understanding for like how Oracle feels when she's like, man, I can't get in the field and I can't do the things that you're right. doing. Like, I don't know. I mean, it, it's, it's more just like, we need to get Huntress in the book. How do we do that? Let's right. Let's break Canary's legs. <laughs> so it's like motivation for her to like take her game to the next level. So exactly. Huntress trains her? No. I'm assuming, no? Huntress is not no. super awesome. Like, she is awesome, but like... <laughs> She's not she, better than she's Black like Canary. She's on the same level as Black Canary. Yeah. I just assume that Maybe since she was better. part of the Bat family or an extension she's not. thereof. No, she wasn't no. trained by Batman in any way. Yeah. She's a, how is she part of the like, Bat family? She's a Bat family she like operates, adjacent. Okay. Yeah. She's she's outside the Bat family. She operates in Gotham, so ipso facto, she's part of the Bat family. They have her number. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So Hunter Bizarre. shows up at Fisher's estate and just... Fights Creot, and it's hilarious because it's like the it's like when John Favreau fights that one security guard in Iron Man Two. <laughs> she's just fighting him like the whole time, yeah, because he's massive. Um, but she fights him, and Canary's like, "Okay, time to get down these stairs." And Savant's like, "I have keys for these handcuffs. These are my handcuffs." Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> and he frees himself, and she's like, "Crap." Yeah. Well. <sighs> yep. So then they have a like pretty cool fight. Like, so Huntress is fighting Creot downstairs, Savannah is fighting Canary upstairs. Yeah. While Fisher and Creot are distracted, Fisher goes to the basement and finds his family. And he's like, get the hell out of here. Right. Let's go. Yeah. And Canary finally does make it down the stairs. Uh, it, it's in a funny sequence where she's like, I'll ride the banister. But at the bottom of the banister is like this really sharp thing. <laughs> and she's like, oh no. So she's got to like avoid it. And you're like, Okay, I guess that's weird. Funny. She's only got one working hand. Right, yeah, because her freaking wrist is broken. Like, she is in bad straits. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah. Um, and then they fight. Oh, so they fight yeah. while Fisher brings his family outside. He's like, get in the car. And they're like, where are you going? He's like, I have to, I have a promise to keep to old friends. <laughs> like, I gotta go. I feel bad. I gotta, I, I got a debt. Yeah. I read my ledger. I gotta go. <laughs> so he runs back in the house to help the girls. Yeah. So Dinah and Savant's fight and Huntress and Creote's fight like basically coalesce into one location. Okay, yeah. Oh good. So now the girls are together or the guys are together and then Huntress is like, okay, I got this. And she like gets in front of Canary and she's like, let's do this. And Canary's like, are you serious? You've been fighting this guy for the last 25 minutes. <laughs> yeah, and now there's another one you have to fight. Like, exactly, It's not exactly. gonna go well. So then- Take or it from me, it's not gonna go well. <laughs> so, it's, so then Oracle calls Savant on every phone in the house. Every phone in the house is ringing. Ah. It's cacophonous. Yeah, yeah. And, and Kriya picks up his phone and he's like, what do you want? She's like, ho ho, I know who you are now, Savant. Because when you spoke those three different languages to me, two of them sounded like you learned them secondhand, but one of them sounded authentic. authentic. Oh. And so I found out that you are Greek and I cross-referenced like, all of the data that I could find about you with 
Greece, and I found out like your real name and where you're from and who you are, and like so I I found like your uh, your, your, the files you have on everybody, and so I'm dumping that, so now you're like Persona Non Grata with all of these nefarious characters that you had over on them, like now that information's gone. Oh, wow. It's like, I didn't get that information because it was handed to me. I found that. I'll yeah. get it again. So, wow. but, well, now yeah, you don't but, have but it you anymore. you don't have it. He, he, she also reveals that he was cut off from his rich family. family. Yes, that's the whole thing, is that like, he was born into wealth, but then they cut him off, and he decided to find meaning by becoming like a superhero, and that didn't work either. So like, right. this guy's been rejected constantly. He's got some issues. He's got some yeah. issues. <laughs> His family rejects him. Batman rejects him. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's it's a bad. That's time all you to need be to become a bad guy. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. Just just one bad day with Batman, and and, and it's over. And you know the inability to tell time. <laughs> well, that's well true. that also yeah mm -hmm. right and that like unbalances that him, unbalances I guess. him yeah. and then. Uh, uh, Fisher just hits Kree out in the back of the head with like a torch. Nice. Uh, and that doesn't knock him out, but it does distract him so that Huntress can just keep hitting him in the back of the head with a torch. Right. Uh, until he's like down finally. Uh, gotcha. It's just like, okay. Like, the, I was like really waiting for something really clever to happen. Yeah. It's like, no, it's just like Fisher turns out to be an okay guy. Right. And helps out yeah. unexpectedly. But it's great because he doesn't save the day. Like, he no. distracts Creote, and then Huntress gets the one-up on him. Now that Savant is unbalanced and Creote is on the ground, uh, Dinah sucker punches him. <laughs> it's like, that's for tying me up and breaking my legs and being an overall gross person. Yes. And he's like, oh, you'll die for that. And she's like, no. No, you won't. <laughs> and uh, then they find out that there is uh, a backup of all those files that they got rid of in the basement. That's where the, in the wine cellar, that's where everything was kept. Okay. Well, it so, wasn't the family. That yeah. was important down there. They were just ancillary. <laughs> yes, it was the files. It's this, like, the secret backup data of files. So, Dinah's got this, like, disc full of all this data on all these bad characters that Savant has collected over the years. Mm -hmm. And Oracle's like, we could use this data. Yeah. Right, Against right. them and do a lot of good. And Dinah's like, you mean like how we tried to do that with Fisher and it blew up in our faces? Mm. Like, this is a gross invasion of privacy and it's it's not how I want to do things. Like, that's how you do things. Like, you steal information from, from people and you leverage, leverage it against them. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I don't do that. I and punch people in the face. I punch people in the I face. And I kick them with my, oh. Exactly. <laughs> and I like, Fisher is, <laughs> Fisher is like, hey, um, since I kind of like, Helped you guys out. Can you, like, put in a good word for me at the Justice League at my trial? Ah. Uh. And Dinah feels bad, so she's like, tell you what. The Justice Society will help you out. Huh. Oh, the Justice Society. Oh. Damn it. I can't even name a single member of that team. <laughs> he just throws it away. <laughs> he throws it in the fire. Because there's, like, a fire they have there. Where <laughs> Dinah burns the disc. Okay. Right. She's like, you're not getting this Oracle. Oh, this no. This is not how we do it. They talk about it, and Oracle's like, you're right, Dinah. And Dinah burns the disc. But what she doesn't tell Oracle is that she burned the disc before they had the conversation. All right. So and, Dinah, so Oracle didn't have time to agree to it. No, but she didn't know. And Huntress is like, are you ever going to tell her about that? And she's like, no. Like, I wanted to see if Barbara was going to make the right decision. Uh. Meanwhile... <laughs> When Barbara deleted all those files virtually, is she backed them up? <laughs> yeah, so she, she still wanted has to the see files. What Dinah was gonna do with that information? Right. Oh my goodness. So they don't trust each other at all. No. Nope. What a great team. I know. Yeah. <laughs> but that's like juicy. Oh, yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah. No! It's, like, it's a little bit dark. It's like Batman. <laughs> yeah. Right. He's got secret files on everybody. Right. But Superman's like, guys. don't do that. You shouldn't do that. He's like, yeah, okay, I won't do that. But I did. Save. It. I did yes. thirty-five minutes ago. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what Superman does. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's what Lois does. Superman yeah. does that shit because yeah. he's Because Superman's just as, just as twisted as Ozzy Mende. <laughs> but, uh... I know what is best for this world. I am a little god. I know what's best for this world, or at least my wife does. Because otherwise I'll be in the doghouse, you know what I mean? <laughs> what's wrong what with you? Fuck? Um, All right. I didn't realize your kryptonite was Lois. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Deep. I love it too because like Oracle tries to justify her like gross invasion of privacy by like looking at the picture of her dad. You know, he's police, he's police commissioner. He makes yeah. hard decisions all the time. I'm like, he invades people's privacy all the time. <laughs> Your father. All right, I guess yeah, maybe. Yeah. 
Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah, but he's also not a vigilante. Well, you know what he does, though? He greenlights a vigilante. He does. That's right. So, yeah. A vigilante who keeps files on everybody yeah. and invades okay. their privacy all the time. See, now, I would love mm. to see Gordon and Batman being like, you know, uh, I wish we could get this uh, this wiretap. Batman's like, oh, here's every phone call he's ever made for the last 25 years. Thanks, Batman. <laughs> Thank you. I can't Thank you. use this. I mean, no, but you can use it to get something you can use. I mean, I'm going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you use it, Batman? I already did. You're already a vigilante. <laughs> oh, I solved the case. I just want to see if you'll be able to solve the case. <laughs> so then the story kind of just wraps up. Like, it ends with Savant going to Arkham. Okay. And Savant freeing himself. Okay, so Oracle sends Huntress disguised as Black Canary to meet with a senator who was under the thumb of Savant, who is now upset about those files. He's like, mm. I don't believe for a second they were destroyed, and some right. of those files are on me, and I'm, I'm a senator. So I have far-reaching powers, and I can destroy you, and I will. So he threatens her by like taking her on a, uh, on a metaphorical duck hunting session, where he's like, see this duck, that's you. You know, it's the kind of, the kind of simplistic metaphors I would expect from a U.S. senator. Yeah. I mean, and, uh, <laughs> I find the, the poetic justice like you're going d bird hunting. Yes. Okay, that's funny. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, but anyway, they, uh, they, so they find out they have a new enemy, and it's like part of the U.S. government. Okay. And uh, oh. so that's like a setup for the for, for later in the run. Uh, so while Huntress, disguised as Canary, meets with the senator, Savant is freeing himself from Arkham and meeting up with Creote and, and getting out of there. You uh, know, it's funny. Well, uh, Wait, that's that's Huntress. Huntress. Yeah, she dyes her hair and everything. No, she's wearing a wig. Oh, she's wearing a wig. Yeah. Okay, that's a pretty good wig. You know what's funny about that? In Longbow Hunters, Dinah had black hair, but oh, Black Canary yeah. had blonde hair, and that was because she wore a wig. But after that experience, she's like, you know what? Blonde. I'm just going to go, go blonde. blonde. Yeah. So she just dyes her hair blonde. But now, Huntress has black hair, and she's disguising herself as Black Canary, <laughs> who has dyed blonde hair, so she wears a blonde wig. Oh, yeah. We that's, find, that's pretty. That's pretty, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's oh wait. True. Did all that stuff happen? <laughs> <laughs> we waste time in this whole, like, back and forth, cloak and dagger conversation. Mm -hmm. And then she leaves, and then he, like, sends a car to go kill her. What? Like, literally, she drives the motorcycle, and then, like, she finds out she's being chased by the car sent by the senator to kill her anyway. I'm like, why did you just shoot her at the friggin' duck hunting range? Like, what's wrong with you? Please. <laughs> I'm a U.S. senator. I don't dirty money. Well, I guess she can't you die have a car. on his property. Right, but you have a car full of witnesses, you idiot. Well, yeah. Not after that car blows up. Yeah. Uh, so while that's happening, Dinah and Oracle are having, like, a conversation, both in wheelchairs, mm. uh, where basically Oracle's like, you're fired. What? I Oracle fires her? Yeah, you're fired. I can't. I can't. I got Huntress now. I don't need no, you. No, <laughs> it's just. It, it's more like I'm protecting you. I'm making decisions for you. I'm thinking for you. Oh, you, so you're disbanding the Birds of Prey? You're not doing this anymore? Oh no, I'm still gonna do the Birds of Prey, just without you. What? Because you weren't. You weren't well trained enough. I'm the oh only bird God. on the team. <laughs> we gotta change the name. No, no, we have to change the name. <laughs> That's you're a not, problem. You don't have to worry about. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> You're not in the club anymore. What about this or you're not getting? Yeah. Yeah. And it's... it's that's... Ugh, that's so Batman. Yeah. And you're like, no, Oracle's not Batman. But wait, 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 like, so you're punishing me for getting captured and broken? No, no, I'm protecting you. Yes. It's really it. my fault. Yeah. No, now get the hell out of here. She's, she's so guilty. She feels so guilty. Feels like, so guilty. Oh, I got you into this and you weren't ready. Well, look at you're you. strong look at enough. you in the wheelchair. Like, I don't want you to end up like yeah. me. Yeah. I got to protect myself by getting you out of here so I don't feel guilty about you getting killed. Right. That being said, that's exactly how humans behave. So that like, is right true. on Gail Simone, yeah. but also it's frustrating to read. Yep. So, you know, that wow. happens and and ultimately Canary is like Huntress is a great asset. Like you should definitely add her to the team. Right. Like, she's cool. And Oracle's like, mm, maybe. Like in the beginning, she's like, I don't like Huntress, I'm not gonna have her on the team. She's on the cover, so obviously she's on the team. Right. Uh, at the end she's like, mm, yeah, I do kind of need somebody. Oh, so, uh, right, well, I can't do anything in the field if I don't have you. I just fired you. I guess I do need somebody mm -hmm. to kick people. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. So what happens is Huntress calls while they're having this conversation. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was just talking about you. Yeah, and it's... she's like, I'm being chased by dudes. Yeah. And they're like, oh, no. 
and they they're gonna find out where their hideout is, you know, because like they're they're tracking her too. Oh, she's why hiding. she can't go back well, to the hideout? Just don't come here. No. Well, just don't come here. Well, just what am I supposed to do? I don't know. Just drive until you die. You know, whatever. I don't know. Ride until you run out of gas. Yeah, yeah. ride or die, bitch. I don't know. I guess kick him or something. <laughs> I don't know. Do do you're your only, do your stuff. Yeah, do you're, your you're the only one. You're, you're one third of us can kick. Do, do your do hunters that. thing. <laughs> so Barbara leaves to go get lunch. Oh, she so, fires no. Dinah and so, then she goes to get lunch. Yep. Well, that's lunch. Yes. Well, that's lunch. I'm sorry. No, yeah, we should talk about this. That's lunch. And <laughs> since you don't work here anymore, uh, it's no longer on me. So. Right. So, uh, you know, you can stay here and, like, collect Clean your, out your stuff, desk or but whatever. please don't be here when I get back. Yes. So. I'm a monster. So Barbara goes to the Italian restaurant that has the amazing shrimp across the street. Oh, yeah. And she has a conversation with the waitress that no one would have that perfectly parallels their situation with Dinah. Uh, while Dinah is in the tower, she gets a call from Huntress, and Huntress is like, I need backup. I'm getting chased by these dudes. So then, uh, ultimately... Well, so she gets to be Oracle. Yeah. Yeah. And what she winds up doing is basically leading Huntress down an alley. And when Huntress goes down the alley and the car comes that way, Dinah is there in the wheelchair. And she goes, <laughs> and just like blows up the car. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. That's funny. <laughs> I like your good Harry scream. <laughs> <laughs> the book says scree. I prefer rah. <laughs> 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 See, it's way better. I have a question. <laughs> Why does Oracle have uh, uh, Huntress dress up as Black Canary? Because they don't want to show that Huntress is on the that team. Huntress is no, they like, don't want to show that they don't want to show that Canary's hurt. Oh, like oh, the Oracle Canary team is still functioning, functioning and at top at pe- at pe- full pe- cylinders. Exactly, yeah, exactly. What? exactly. Okay, so it's a known thing that Canary is, is an agent in of the Gotham of doing stuff. Sure. Okay. Yes. All right. So, see, so look at Black Canary. She's kicking ass down yeah, there in she, the wheelchair. Yeah, she, she razzes the car, and then they get out. She, she didn't kill them. The car. Okay. And she just beats them with batons. Oh. And she's like, all right, who's not capable? Thus proving that Oracle doesn't have to just sit in the wheelchair and be well, the yes. computer person. <laughs> I would. I would. Oh wait, be you can like hit people and stuff. The her, Barbara's at because she's in the restaurant that's like next to this alley. She's yeah. eating spaghetti. <laughs> oh son of a bitch! Oh, that's what I should have done. I didn't need a team at all. <laughs> Although I don't have a supersonic scream that oh, blows that's up cars. True. Though. So yeah. This is when Barbara starts taking up. You could gun just get a gun. Things. Yeah. Yeah. And Batman's like, uh, I thought I taught you. Barbara better. does have a gun. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Her dad's a cop. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, I don't have a th- I weird thing no about vow. guns. <laughs> <laughs> My parents weren't shot in an alley. My dad's still good. He's, he's in charge. Jim, you shouldn't use it. Shut up, Batman. Batman, <laughs> grow I'm a, up. I'm a cop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Alfred used the gun for God's yeah. sake. Yeah. And every time, Batman just shakes his head. Yeah. Really, Alfred? Yeah. Really? So Dinah that's... goes back to the tower. Yeah. Uh, Huntress is like, this is weird. This team is weird. You guys are weird. This this is weird. I don't know if I want to do this. I don't know if I want to do this, but I'm going to do this. Yeah. That's not what I thought. This is weird. You guys are weird. I like weird. Yeah. yeah. Basically, that's yeah, what that, That's what will happen. Yes. Yeah. And uh, so... Dinah unfires herself? More or less. So she goes upstairs and be like, hey, Barbara. Well, I'm not off the well, team. Oracle had a heart to heart with the waitress. That's what I'm saying. That that one, and the, the waitress yeah. conversation parallels her conversation with Dinah. Right. Where, wa- where the waitress is like, just because you're hurt or incapable doesn't mean that you're not capable. You know, it's yeah. You know, you can do anything if you put your heart. In you gotta to stop, it. you know, protecting people from themselves. They're grown ups. They can take care of themselves. Bingo. Let them help you mm-hmm. do the thing. Yeah. yeah. Barbara still like sticks to her guns, but like, uh, you get the implication that like Canary's She's not thinking about it. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Okay. Huh. But in the meantime, Hunters will be on the team. Right. Right. Well, her legs are broken. Yeah. 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 Uh, also. Uh, Savant calls Barbara. Uh, he doesn't know it's Barbara, by the way. He still thinks it's Barbara. Right. But, he calls uh, Oracle. He's like, hey, I'm free. <laughs> I'm out. And I'm going to get you. I'm the villain of the Birds of Prey series now. Right. And she's like, yeah? And she like looks up everything. And she's like, well, I can literally see and hear you because I control every remote camera and microphone and like cell phone in the world. And he's like in a, he's in a convenience store. And he sees the security camera and he just runs away. <laughs> <laughs> That's Yay. amazing. And then Dinah and Oracle like 
laugh, and then like jump in the air and freeze frame in their chairs. <laughs> Executive producer Chuck Lorre at the, yeah. the end. <laughs> yeah. And it ends with like a like a hope for the future and the continuation of the series. Yeah, and the camera zooms out on mm -hmm. the watchtower. On the watchtower, yeah. you're like, that's cool. Is this set in the future? No, Gotham why are there has like zeppelins. obvious zeppelins flying over? Gotham the city? has zeppelins because oh. they're nice. Because they're cool. Because they look cool in drawings. Yes. yes, they were in the opening of the Batman animated series. That, yeah. that, that world is bizarre. There are computers <laughs> and black and white TVs. <laughs> <laughs> the internet exists, but everyone, but no, but no TVs in color. What? <laughs> they have paddy wagons, but they're like super paddy wagons. Yeah. They have cell phones. They drive like. They like drive twenty cars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that world. Yeah, yeah I love that cool. world. It's awesome, but it doesn't it's work. Atmospheric, but it makes no it sense. Into anything else? Yeah. Nope. So uh, yeah, that's the birds of prey. It's just like cool. Yeah, it's it, and like you know, it's the perfect kind of comic book that I enjoy, where it's like it's. One part superhero, one part drama. It's and about hot ladies. Well, and Ed Benes is like, here's some sexy ladies. And I remember being like... like <laughs> this, this book is... The art is gratuitous. Right. You know, Straight that's what's up. so funny. Within the first couple of pages, oh. there was a scene where when uh, Dinah's ho like holding the guy hostage, yeah. she just has her legs spread wide open. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. The, In the car. The yeah. yeah. I'm like... What is happening? Yeah. It's hot. It's uh, I, I would think it, that was gratuitous. It's 70 but style it's feminism. Empowering. It's women are empowered to like dress sexy. Right, and they, all, they 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 don't dress like this for our benefit. Yeah. They dress like this because they want. To. Or they do, and that gives them power. Right. Okay. Fair that's enough. That's a way to you know. But yeah, no. The the Ed Benes. I don't are, think that's what empowering is supposed to represent. I don't know. I mean, like, uh, you know, I'm not qualified. Like to I guess it's with. it's very it's very first wave feminism. It's very uh, like old school. Like, no, no, we. We don't have to wear the knee-length skirts. We can wear mini skirts if we want. Yeah. You don't tell us how to dress. No, they talk about the fishnets that she wears and how like that's like ridiculous. And it's like, yeah, but it's also a signature part of the Black Canary outfit. Yeah. So it's like, well, is that maybe we should evolve past that? Or what if like actually she? Well, wears don't worry, because in this book they get all torn. I know. By the way, uh, the, because we're never going to do this again, uh, Savant uh, will later on be told that Creote is in love with him. Mm -hmm. like, Damn it! Don't you know? Creote's right. in love with you? And Savant's like, I'm in love with him. Oh, wow. How did you get together? <laughs> well, well, they didn't know? He didn't know? No. Until someone had to tell him? Yeah. I see. So it's not that he's not gay. It's that he's just <laughs> oblivious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's funny. Well, I never found the right time to tell him. I guess I'm really bad with time. Yeah. Oh. Well, he's like, it's it's more like I'm I'm I've been in love with you since the beginning, and he's like, what? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Is there like subtext here where Black Canary might be like bi, and she's kind of into Oracle? I don't know. Or Huntress it's is never into... explored. Okay. You at least from. It's never explored to the extent where it becomes a character trait. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, there's yeah. never a period where like Oracle and. Black Canary aren't speaking to each other because there's an unrequited... Right. Well, I'm sure editorial's like, you can't do that. Don't do that. You're not changing the sexual orientation of these characters. I can see them doing that. Except it through subtext. I can imagine, That can actually, be denied. It, this is all speculation, but I can imagine that Gail Simone's like, I'm going to make it so that, like, Black Canary and Oracle are gay. Mm -hmm. But they realize they're I'm going to write them that way. And they're like, no. And they're like, okay, well, then I'm going to invent Savant, who's literally a yeah. male analog for Oracle, <laughs> and Creote, who is the muscle, right. and they'll be gay. <laughs> They're like, that's fine. They're like, fine, whatever. Well, I don't care Gordon about those characters. Love Dick Grayson. That's right. Right. That's right. Yeah. And they do that. Yeah. Black Canary loves Ollie. Or is at least sometimes with Ollie. Right, exactly. And Huntress, uh, she's a wild card. Yeah. Yeah, she's in love with Batman or something. Uh, whatever. Well, I don't know. No, she's in love with Tim Drake. <laughs> oh. She's, she's not. Birds of Prey is a comic book series that celebrates femininity and also highlights characters that don't normally get the spotlight. So I'll put a link in the description below this video for you to pick up a copy of this book. I think it's fun and it's a good springboard into the rest of it. I I don't want to discount Chuck Dixon's run, but like the Gail Simone run really plays it up and like as we've highlighted, like Ed Benes' art is like good. Mm -hmm. It's just also a little gratuitous. It is, yeah. it is gratuitous. Like, it, but like, you yeah. know. Also overly reliant on hair draping down over the face. That's, that, that's just a relic. <laughs> 
<laughs> is straight up just a thing they used to do. Yeah. You know who else likes to do that? J. Scott Campbell likes to do that. Yeah. Everybody likes the hair go over the face. Yep. It creates depth. Oh. The illusion of depth. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, we'll see you guys next time with an all new episode. And I guess let me know what you think of Birds of Prey. Because I'm going to see it and I'll probably talk about it in another show. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. You know, we'll funny. see. I, I get the impression this is like one off, right? Margaret Rogers wanted to make this one movie and be yeah. Harley one more time and then like whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever you want to do, Warner Brothers, whatever. Yeah. But like, what if this movie does huge? And they're like, uh oh. Okay, I guess we might make another one? And, and keep yeah, raising I'm, questions and complications. Yeah, I'm sure they will. They'll come up with something. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because they're not gonna not make money. Well, not only that, but like you got Black Canary Huntress and like a type of Batgirl. She's not Batgirl in this movie. Mm -hmm. But like those are three other movies you could make out of this movie. Yeah. So yeah, we'll see. Oh no, <laughs> don't make other movies out yeah. of it. Just keep going with this train. I, I don't think works. there's much danger of any of that happening. Oh no, I don't think so either. There's like no hype for this movie. None whatsoever. But but that doesn't mean it's not gonna do well. No, it might. Well, the question is like it's always how, word of mouth could be a runaway success. Generate yeah, well, huge and, buzz. And how much did it cost? If, like, if, if, right. You know. Well, know. I'll tell you this. You know, how, like normally, if you want to know how like movies are made, like you have a budget, and then you have like the marketing budget. So it's like whatever they say the budget is, like 150 million dollars. Mm -hmm. Double that, and that's how much money it has to make to break even. Right. Since there is no marketing budget for this movie, <laughs> <laughs> clearly, because I haven't seen a single anymore. ad for it outside of Comic Con. Nope. And maybe there's a video. There's an ad before this video. Right. Yeah. I was going to say, maybe there's an ad for it on the DC streaming service. No doubt. You know, I haven't even seen a trailer for it, and I've been to a couple movies. I haven't seen one in theaters, but I've seen yeah. two trailers. Yes, yeah, so I haven't seen it in th I haven't. Yeah, the trailer's obviously online. Obviously, yeah. yeah. But, like, normally they'd also be at the movies. Nope, I haven't seen a single trailer in theaters, and I've seen a couple of movies this year. Weird. It's very weird. DC's like, don't put it in the theaters. Yeah, don't go. Don't hype that. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. So... Good luck. Yeah, good luck. I, I genuinely mean that. I yeah. want it to do... Uh, yeah. uh, well, well, if it's good. If it's good, I want it to do well. Yeah. I don't have no idea. We'll, we'll find have out. to find out. Yeah, well. Let's find out. Let's find let's out. Go, let's, let's go. Let's go back. Let's go forward. Let's go forward. Let's go to the movies. Let's go to the movies. All right. <laughs>